and wear rocker, rocker lips. lips. I'm Matt. I play guitar and sing. I'm Andy, and I play bass. I'm Chris. I play drums. Now, so we started uh, April 2007. We had our first show in a, a loft um, down in the bottoms in Kansas City. It was a little show that was thrown together by some friends of ours. Without me. Without Chris. Chris was at our first show, actually. Mm -hmm. He was nice enough to grace us with his presence and ask us afterwards, um, if we had an opening for a drummer after the first no, show. I, no, you get this wrong <laughs> no, every time. This? What do I say? I said, hey, can I be in your band? I didn't say anything about playing drums. Oh, yeah, drums. we were in. First thing Andy and I At said all. was, he's a metal drummer. Right now we have <laughs> two albums uh, officially that have been pressed and, you know, we've sold on the road. So we went in, uh, recorded an album with one of our favorite sound guys in town at the riot uh, it was a sound guy at the riot room jeff pickman he uh picked up uh you know what we were what we were trying to do and gave us a nice little recording and then um what what happened next what happened next and we got another album yeah How did we get that album well on? we were you know we were just playing just another show at the at the uh, brick in kansas city and uh, some random person came up to tell us how great we were. I mean, it happens all the time. Right. And uh, <laughs> this guy was actually serious for once. And, uh, yeah, we ended up uh, checking him out. And the so, guy, yeah. yeah, Chris Cosgrove. That's when we met Chris, Chris yeah. Cosgrove, who produced Needle in the Groove, which is the album that y'all are hearing right now probably on the, on the radio um, that's getting played on X106 and yeah. stuff yeah, like I mean, that. It's, Needle in the Groove, uh, good album. Um, it's it's doing well for us now. It's going to continue to do well for us. Um, it's really kind of put us on the map in the in the Midwest um, mm -hmm. with uh, our music more so than the first. And that's the way it should be. It should be a progressive process. We've also got some things in the work. We've already done some uh, pre-production, some tracking um, for for the third album, album number, number three, three already. Approached again by the same uh, guy, Chris Cosgrove. Um, after the pre-production tracks, he was sold on doing a third album. So uh, we'll be headed back in real quick to do some more. It's uh, really soon. Things are going good. That the music's moving right along. They're having fun, and it's it's moving in a direction where um, we're all able to we're all able to be involved in the songwriting process. So it's great. The, the needle in the groove direction was more just that straightforward, fist pumping, yeah. crowd chanting, you know, party rock and roll. And, you know, we're just, <laughs> lack of a better term, we're getting more into the groove of rocker lips. I was going to say, we're, yeah. say we're and, uh, more, more on the we're, groove where side Where we're of going things, yeah. with, with things. Along. So, um, you know, things are developing a, a little bit away from that straightforward rock and roll, you know, party sound, but. It still definitely has the feel. Shake it's still your the hips, same. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's more hips. danceable, you know. Down by the river, walking on the banks, filling up some water. Yeah, I took a couple drinks. It was Chris. We were talking about like kind of that southern rock thing, and like kind of had that whole nature. We're like, well, we live by a river. We should write a song about the river. And yeah, Chris, yeah. Chris was like, had it going in his head about. Walking by the river. Po very popular song, very quickly with our fans. Our, of course, us. Well, it's one we of our favorite song. songs to play live. One of our favorite, favorite songs to play. Songs. So always the, um, pretty much always the. I ender. think it's one of the ones we end with typically because yeah. you know it's just a good song. The, the way that album just looks when you open it up. I mean, it's uh, which was it was a conscious sort of decision because uh, Matt and I are uh, are big vinyl collectors and we wanted an album that was like you know you fold it out like an LP. Mm -hmm. and it has the different artwork and you're always staring at it and finding new things in it. Um, and so, you know, we really wanted to do that, especially for the first full-length record we put out. Sure, we always wanted to do a vinyl. Uh, making a CD look like a vinyl is the best we could afford at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, one of these days we'll have a real vinyl put out. We'll see. We, it's dear to our hearts and we hope it is to everybody that listens to it. That was the worst. Three, three, three letters, Ever. man. H O T. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it was so hot. Yeah, it was very. It hot. It was miserable. 
We sweated through our clothes and probably oh. the first 10 minutes. Yeah. No, that was just unloading the gear. That was just three different locations. It was an experience. We had just gotten off um, a tour with Nigel Dupree. Um, so it was the last leg of, uh, it was the last day of our tour with him. We were very close to home, <laughs> feeling that. Our van had broke down that morning. Um, before that, earlier in the morning, we ran out of gas on the way home. I mean, it was just a, that whole day was a mess get leading up to it. But but I think that was more like fuel. I think we that took all cool. that frustration. We took all that frustration all that, yeah, out and on just that like, video that day. Yeah. It was a good time and definitely um, a, a great place to start for our first music for video. Sure. I mean, for sure. It, excellent. Down by the river was kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> there, was, <laughs> yeah, there was a river. There was a river. Was a river. <laughs> that homeless guy was really nice too. He was, yeah, he by was the really river. nice. The building that we shot in, a um, lot of great urban, you know, just that urban decay look, and it, it was really what we were going for. So yeah, the locations were perfect, and then the following up with the show at Hammerjacks that night in those St. Joe. Those people were crazy and that those, night too. Those people got crazy and they gave us some good footage for yeah. our video and that's you know all we could ask. So yeah. we definitely want to take it back there and show them yeah. how much damage they did on the video. Definitely. <laughs> the favorite moment for me was when we got done playing that show and we'd, we'd shot the video or shot the song, I don't know, 17 times. Yeah. And <laughs> we got done playing the show, there was no air conditioning in the building and my hands were pruned, like literally pruned, like I'd been in the bathtub for six hours. <laughs> that was probably the favorite part of the day when I looked down at my hands. The and air they conditioning were, did go yeah, out that yeah. day. Air conditioning was out, they blew fans with mist, so it was like hu pumping humidity into a building, that was already stuff humid. full of people. So It was, it was interesting. Um, definitely not prime fa conditions favorite for part any of the day. video shoot. <laughs> Aside from looking at my hands was when we packed up and went home. Really. <laughs> <laughs> he was glad to be I'm done kidding. With, I'm we were kidding. glad no, to it be was, it was so fun. Done with that day just it for was, the tired. The whole party. thing was yeah. fun and Yeah, after like the, the kind of the the uh, the hot filming and all that stuff we were doing the live shot, getting felt up while I played the bass was probably my favorite part of the show. <laughs> my favorite part of the video. Um when you guys were zooming in on me a whole lot, and I was doing <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I uh, when I was looking out the window, the whole experience for me, um, obviously being a new experience, was it was great. I was just uh, learning as much as I was having fun. So yeah. the the whole experience was good all day long. I don't, I can't say I have a favorite part. Um, well, we get to hang out with some really cool people too. I mean, the people that were filming it were just. They were, you know, really professional and really helpful and, you know, they made sure we had things to drink yeah. and, you know, tried to make it as bearable as possible given the kind of the circumstances. So, hats off to you guys for sure. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you to Maryville. I just want to give a shout out to Kurt Mason. He's one of our um, good buddies that really, he believed in Rocker Lips. Um, he did the local radio show there in Kansas City called KKFI. and. He just passed away this last this last week, and uh, he's he's kind of dear to Rocker Lips. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so anyway, it's 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 hard to see one of your one of your good buddies go, especially somebody that's trying to help you so much. But um, we know he went to a way better, way cooler place, and we're we're gonna do um, all we can to make sure this next album is in the spirit of what he would he would have wanted. So I just want to say that for our buddy Kurt.